how long was he your mechanic before you brought a professional in or actually had a team behind you? I think the, the first, first couple of months until like, you know, you get to a point where, where you need to start to make the right changes to the cooker <laughs> to, to be really quick. So we, um, we took somebody to, to advise us uh, on, on what to do, you know, like uh, with the carburetor and with um, the tire pressures and stuff like that. So, but it was always, we wanted to sort of always had an input. So I love the technical side of the sport. And I think it's because, because of those early, um, early years that we were doing it on, on our own, our supervising what the other or our mechanics or advisors were, were saying. And, and like you said, just Googling it and, and asking and how does this work and why? And, um, and then you, you understand that you rather have everything under your control, right? Like, because in, 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 uh, in racing, you have so many things that you cannot control, but what you can control, it better be right. And, um, and we understood that very early. Now, how long did you cart before you went into more of a open wheel proper series? I think like 12 years of karting, probably. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that was a long, long career. I went to, I, I competed in four um, like Rotex World Championships and I did a lot of karting in America in Stars of Karting when it was um when it was called that way um a couple of years back a couple now like 10 12 years ago um but yeah it, i i did a lot of karting uh, but particularly in the u.s did you i mean were you all in i mean when you got your actual go-kart was this passion and determination to be i mean did you want to be a formula one driver at that point or was this just connecting with your dad and having fun and doing something you enjoyed? I was always super serious about it because I knew, like I had done like soccer, golf, tennis, horse riding. Like I could not stop. Like I was a uh, sports, I'm, I'm still a sports lover. But when I tried karting, I was like, oh my God, this is what I want to do. And I, I knew straight away, it was just a matter of, of convincing my parents that I wanted to be a Formula One driver in the future. And obviously like they, this, this girl, okay, well, it, it will take a, a couple of months until she decides maybe she wants something else. But I was like super consistent and they could see that passion, that that desire to, to go every weekend, every day after school to, to go training. And um, I was very, I've always been super, um, determined and super like I, I want to train everything I want to be better every day um, so they could see that drive in me and um, I'm really glad they gave me the chance to to pursue that dream but of course it took a couple of I think until I won the first championship in the United States that's when they thought like oh my god this is sweet this is getting serious she won't be going to university so <laughs> I had my chance <laughs> every every parent thinks like that I I know I do as you know I, I'm an entrepreneur I'm not a I'm not a school system person so you know if if my son my son or daughter wanted to be a race car driver and they said I'm not going to college I'd be like okay if you got talent go for it so oh that's that's a great attitude to have that's the same as my my parents whatever you do want to do and you want to do it properly we will support you and that's that's the right attitude and I think that's what what we need more so happy to hear that that you support them whatever whatever they decide to do well i'm i'm still surprised that it took more than one question to your dad to get a go-kart because i can't turn my daughter down for anything anything at all if she asked for a go-kart she'd have one by the end of the day <laughs> things have changed a little <laughs> just a little so okay so you go you've got karting now you make the jump to open wheel and you, you had spent some time in radical radical and, and Miata series as well. But I, you know, and I think, I think the biggest jump to me at least is always going to, you know, more of a, 
a junior formula series or, you know, the road to Indy, I think those are, that's a big jump. How, what, what was that like for you? And even your family too. Like, I mean, you're traveling the world at this point to pursue your dream. I mean, what, what does the family dynamic look like? What is that transition like for you? It was, it was huge transition also because I just like, I went from, from karting to having like two test days to start Maza in, in single seaters. And I was still like finishing school. So just traveling back and forth with sometimes it was my dad, sometimes my mom, because they, they still had to work <laughs> full time. Uh, so it was, it was really tough to combine both. Once I graduated and I was given the opportunity to pursue this as, as a career, it was a little bit better. But again, you know, you have, you, you start to get all this responsibility. I had to move away from home, uh, not knowing anybody. Um, you know, you're under 21 and you cannot rent a, a car anywhere. Um, or back, back then you couldn't. Um, and, and it's, the logistics side of, of things it, it gets complicated as well as you know the level in in the US in um, in Europe is, is extremely high and compared to like our countries where where motorsports is not so not so well known but that first jump was was really high like uh, from from karting to star Mazda uh, without having that much test days. Um, I think I, I thought it was going to be a little bit easier. Um, the physicality of things, the way you sit in the car, uh, you know, the gears, the, the preparation, it's very, very dif different than, than karting. You know, you go maybe to train in the same track that you're going to race at in karting, like the weekend before, or even a couple of days before the race, and that's allowed, and it's it's all good, and all of a sudden, you just go there, and you have, like, two sessions, and qualifying, and that's the race, and it's it's a big jump uh, to make, so, um, so it was tough at the beginning, but I think uh, that makes you a, a better driver. You dig deeper, and, and you you try and fix all the things that, that you need for, for the next uh, race. And, and I think that has kind of been my, my approach. I, I, I love challenges and, uh, and I'm glad that I have, you know, moved move through different countries and ways of people, like the way they treat you in, in Europe, in US, in Japan, in Asia, it's very different. Uh, and you have to get to, to work your mind around it and, um, I, I think I'm a better person and driver because of that. How, I mean, 